Hello everyone. Thank you so, so much for clicking on my video to see the channeled message that I received from Spirit. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Winter. I'm Claire Cognizant, Clairvoyant, Clairsentient, and Clairaudient. And I use those gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from Spirit for you guys. So, um, those of you who um, are not new, welcome back. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started on the channel message. I'm so excited today too because my dog comes home from the hospital. He hasn't eaten since he's been in the hospital, but I feel like, and so does the doctors, they feel like it's because he's away from his mommy and he is a picky eater. And so, um, yeah, so hopefully um, when he gets home, uh, I can get him to eat. So if you guys could send him prayers and healing energy, I would greatly appreciate it. He is my sweet baby boy and um, just want to make sure that he is okay. So let us go ahead and get started, but he should be home in a couple hours. So, all right, <clears throat> let us go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels. Thank you, ascendant masters, ancestors, spirit guides, and angelic higher light beings. You are invited here into this space. I call on you and ask that you guide, bless, and protect this reading, as well as myself and the collective of souls that find their way here. May everyone involved in this reading feel safe and loved. I thank you for using each and every one of the cards as tools to communicate, to bring clarity, insight, guidance, validation, confirmation, information, wisdom, knowledge that comes from love. I thank you for allowing me to clearly and accurately see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay. So I'm going to pull one card from this deck. And these are just going to be general messages um, for collective. So only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I am sensing a lot of difficulties um, right now. There's like um, some sort of um, struggle that... Um, whomever is watching this is dealing with no matter how big or small okay and and you may kind of be in this energy of of waiting right now um kind of uh i'm sensing this limbo type of energy right now for the collective whether this is with a relationship your finances um, um but it just feels like a very, um, just just this time of kind of wait and see type of, of feeling that I'm picking up on for each of you. What message do you have for the collective that they should focus on? Thank you, spirit, angels, archangels. Oh, too many cards. Look, we got perseverance. Look, this is how spirit will communicate through the cards. We've got perseverance and on the right track. Also, again, please forgive my nails. Um, but those of you right now, it's like you are definitely headed in the right direction. Okay, so figure out where this resonates in your um, on your particular um, uh, journey. Okay, because like I said, it's collective. It's for um, general. Okay, so there is some area of your life where it's kind of limbo and you're needing to kind of just continue to forge ahead. Spirit is saying that you're headed 
um, exactly where you're supposed to be. And right now, where you are on your journey is exactly where you're supposed to be. Even if it feels challenging or it feels like there's a struggle or it feels like you're just um, in that place of limbo, okay? Feel, even if you feel like you're kind of lacking direction right now or like just needing a sense of guidance, uh, Spirit is saying you're not lost, okay? So if you're looking for the directions, you already hold those within you and you're not lost, okay? You need to know that. See, let go right here. Let go um, and surrender in the moment. Know that you are exactly where you're supposed to be, Um the light, the light. I'm seeing unresolved anger issues. Some of you may be, uh, I'm, sen I'm sensing some women too, um, or uh, male or female, but I'm, but it really feels feminine anger. Righteous anger is literally what I just heard. You're, you're dealing with, um, some of you are dealing with like, um, possibly even someone like you could be dealing with someone who has got some anger issues or like, uh, yeah, like their own like unresolved anger issues. I just want to kind of like look at the book real quick to see what it says here. It says, um, you will find that it is necessary to let things go simply for the reason that they are heavy. So let them go. Let go of them. I tie no weights to my ankles. Wow. Okay, so it's this, this is saying that like um, you need to let go of someone or something for right now. Okay, this could be a relationship. This could be um, a career. Um, some of you, this is uh, spirits giving me this is actual items um, to let go of because so, it's like you've got a lot of something. All right, or it's like you're, you know, like you've got a lot of different like things in your home, you know, like physical things that you're needing to kind of clear house on, but something here that's no longer working for you. It's not serving any purpose in your life other than taking up space in your mind, in your home, um, on your heart. Okay, this could be a, a friendship for you that needs to end a, a romantic relationship, something here that you've been holding on to um, for far too long, okay? And it's like, you need to kind of um, lighten your load. Um, make room, because it's like, as you let go of whatever this is, you're, you're making room for, for um, something better in your life. So, um, if a relationship is coming to an end, just trust that you've learned the lessons that you needed from that particular, um, um, connection. All right. And that you are going towards, um, finding a new experience somewhere else, gaining new lessons somewhere else. Okay. You may be, even, this could even be like the past, like really holding on to the past. Okay, um, and um, holding on to past guilt, remorse, and you know, past um, um, anger as well. Maybe um, some sort of trauma as well. Your higher selves want you to really free yourself, um, free yourself from past decisions some of you you may be like thinking about like certain experiences and i'm seeing someone's face getting red with embarrassment because spirit just showed me um my face when it gets red when i'm embarrassed so that's what i'm feeling like i'm connecting with someone who uh who thinks back about past the um past experiences um uh and it's like your face maybe gets red with embarrassment or you're just dealing with, you know, like um, replaying the past in your mind and feeling a sense of guilt or embarrassment because of that choice or because you said this or did that. And um, and so holding on to that is taking up room in your mind and in your heart. Right. And just really needing to clear out that clutter. Uh, some of you are just holding on to the pain because you've become so comfortable with the pain. It's like, um, 
it's like your pain has become your companion is what I'm feeling. Um, also, there's this feeling of like holding on um, because there is a fear of loss. There is a fear of the unfamiliar. It's like you're, you need to remember though that your higher self um, had a plan for you before you came into this lifetime. There was a reason why the things have happened and why the, the people came into your life, why you experienced certain things. And, um, and likewise, everybody else, all the other people that you're interacting with, they all have their own story. They all have their own agenda, their own plan for their incarnation. Okay. And so like, even though cycles of loss can be very painful, they are not meant to um, impede your growth. So they're there as those challenges for the development of your soul and want and coming into that realization, you know. So if you're struggling to let go, you know, um, really start doing some sort of possibly even like a, de a detachment um, ritual. Or like um, you could do like a detachment burning ritual. And so basically you're, you're going to call in your higher self to be present with you. You know, you can um, write down the, the names of the people or person or things or thoughts that you want to release and put those all on separate sheets of paper. And then like also... Um, put down like how that's a burden. So like you can write the person's name down and like specify that particular burden that that person um, brings to you. And then when you're ready, you're gonna crumble the paper up in your hand. You're gonna visualize the experience that you had with that person and visualize the gratitude of that experience. Um, for, for the lessons that, that you were given. And then um, you're gonna burn that paper and you're going to say, I release you, okay? Uh, but make sure that you do this in an area where it's safe to burn things. And, um, and if you have to, sometimes it's more than once, okay? Sometimes it takes uh, a couple of different times to to fully release that energy and and don't um, be too hard on yourself if you find um, you know that you still are, are struggling with releasing that experience or releasing that person. Some of you have already um, really started to let go, Spirit is showing me. Also, one of the things that I like to do when I'm trying to experience the energy of letting go is when I'm in meditation, I try to envision that my consciousness is laying in water. So you can actually visualize your body like just floating in water and um, being in this energy of kind of just surrendering. You know how like when you're in a pool and you kind of just like get in um, float on your back and you're just like in this energy of surrendering. That's what I, um, how I, when I'm meditating, I will envision that and I will just be in that moment. I will just stay in that moment of floating in water and um, just experiencing being in that uh, energy of letting go. And it really does help. <clears throat> Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides. What can you show me for the collective? I keep hearing intrusive thoughts. You could be dealing with intrusive thoughts. Is that one card? Yep, one card. Inner strength. Damn, I feel like a lot of you have been in survival mode. You have been in survival mode. And, and then we've got surrendering. So 
Again, having that will to let go, gaining your inner strength, being strong enough to let go. You, I feel like some of you have just kind of been existing. You've just kind of been surviving and you haven't really been living. And we've got transition and now it's like, um, it actually even says calm waters. So that's that energy of kind of letting go and going with the flow and being in those calm waters, surrendering to um, the that energy of the water. You know, it's like you are going through um, these transitions right now. Some of you are actually possibly moving, but it's like your spirit guides are are with you right now, guiding you through uh, um, uh, troubled waters right now. I feel like a lot of you um, are really kind of um, experiencing some delays as well or some sort of delay. You may be um, full of questions right now. But um, this transition card, it's very much like the Six of Swords. Um, at, which is like all about, you know, um, moving out of hardships, moving, uh, coming through some sort of struggle in your life. Sorry, just got an email. Coming, I'll turn the thing off on my um, computer. But like you're coming through some sort of struggle in your life right now, coming through some sort of uh, overcoming some sort of hardship and, and letting go and, and moving away from whatever this is in your life. I feel like a lot of you are really also looking back at how much time has gone by like thinking about how much you've invested into a person or a situation with um this delays card on the bottom of the deck i feel like this is like a bittersweet type of moment that you guys are are um going through like you've you you may really be kind of in this energy of of learning to let go and heal like but you're moving towards relief with this inner strength card it's definitely been um challenging either mentally emotionally with whatever it is that you're dealing with and um and it's like you're finally moving into a place where you can expect life to kind of settle down for you. It's like you're, you've been going through a difficult storm in your life. And now it's like your spirit guides are moving you out of this battle that you've been going through. This difficult struggle that you've been going through. You've had to be strong for so long. I feel like many of you have had no choice but to be strong. You've been knocked down and, and walked all over and you've had no choice but to pick yourself back up time and time again. You've had no choice. Life has left you no choice but to be strong. And still, you didn't see how worthy you were or are. You haven't seen what an amazing strength you have when, when life has given you no choice but to be strong. People have hurt you, attacked you. Life has really had you in a, what is it called? A chokehold is what I'm seeing. Life has really had you in some sort of chokehold. And you've had no choice but to put, but to be strong. And you've made it through each and every one of those days. Each and every one of those struggles, you've had no choice but to make it through. Because you're still here. No matter how weak you think you are. Damn, 
you're still here. And even though you may have been in survival mode, you've been surviving. And if only you could see like the, the, the strength in yourself, the way that spirit sees in you, the way that your higher self sees, the way that you see you, the real you sees you is like, oh my God, what a badass. And you have been just really reevaluating yourself, you know, thinking like, you know, feeling a sense of doubt. Do I, you know, um, will I ever find love? Will I ever, you know, see the progress? Will I ever see this? Will I, will this ever happen for me? You know, will, you know, I've, I've been through all of this in life and like look at me now you know like I keep getting knocked down why do I keep having these struggles why do I have to fight so hard because you're strong enough to do it and even though no it doesn't feel good you are so flipping strong to make it through all of those things and now now, as you let go and you really surrender all of that because you've been in survival mode, you've had to really hold on to all of those, that pain and that hurt, you know, because you have just barely been giving, going by. Now it's time to just let it go and sigh that breath of relief as you're moving now into a place of calmer waters. Things are going to start to get easier. You are going to be um, accomplishing goals. There is relief. And it's like, this is that card of you headed in the right direction that we saw here in the first deck that I was using. And now it's like you are, you, you have, it's been this uphill battle with that perseverance. You know, you've been going through you know, these upheavals where it's been setback after setback and you've had to be strong. And now like you're headed in the right direction. You're headed towards victory. You're headed towards a better frame of mind, healing. And your spirit guides are saying, I got you. I got you, you know? I got this. They are showing up here as this masculine energy that's got you, protecting you. Whether your your guides are male or female energies, it doesn't matter. They are in their masculine energy right now because they've got you. They are surrounding you and they are taking you out of this survival, this, this situation here or this energy here where you've been in survival mode and they're taking you out of that. They're pushing you out of this situation and into a place that is better suited for you, whether it is your career, a relationship, like you're going to start to see progress now. really paying attention to um your paying attention to your intuition a lot you know because that's how your guides are really communicating with you paying attention to your dreams okay they're um and really using the the wisdom because this is this transition card is like the six of swords so what comes before the six of swords is the five of swords so those challenges the conflict the battles that you've been through has given you wisdom and now you're using that wisdom to to um move you into a better place you know guiding you it's like your spirit guides are using are guiding you with the wisdom that you um had been seeking and you have you you sought out that, that wisdom that wisdom has that those challenges those obstacles they've given you strength they've given you wisdom and empathy and now you're using that to um move forward and, and progress progress uh on your path a lot of you um 
may have dealt with like anxiety, overcoming those anxieties. You know, it's like you're taking control, but like really there's this energy of overcoming, you know, overcoming these challenges, these obstacles, you know, like you are learning to master your fears. You're learning to master your anxieties, take control over your emotions, master those emotions, finding this confidence to move forward. A lot of you are letting go of a person or a situation with this newfound confidence that you have to move past letting go and moving on past a person or a situation. And it's taking a lot of bravery, a lot of guts also could be dealing with like, an, you guys could have some Leo in your chart or right now you're just full of piss and vinegar and you're ready to be in your um, dark feminine energy. You know, that, that saying hell hath no fury like a woman scorned is coming to mind. Male, female, you're just in that energy of a scorned female that is full of piss and vinegar and is ready to show the world that you're not down you or you're not out you you may get down but they cannot count you out ever i'm seeing like your confidence shining through Connecting, I'm seeing you also like with these two cards here, connecting to your higher self, it, giving you that strength to um, to do more than you dared to dream possible. Especially with this delays here, this re, um, really makes me feel of the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys um, are needing to know that the more energy you put into cultivating your connection with your higher self and and surrendering to your higher self this is going to bring you or lead you to this place of um that that perfect balance of mind body and soul and give you be um have you in that um calmer those calmer waters so yes you've been going through a tough time but spirit is telling you that you have the strength to endure all things and that things will get better and that things are getting better. Whether you see it or not, even if there are those delays and the hiccups that you're dealing with, it's a time of being patient. Follow the light that is within you. I'm going to get one more card from this deck. Okay. Collaboration just came out. Um, and then we've got walking away on the bottom of the deck. You are strong enough to get up and leave. You are strong enough. Uh, that song is coming to mind. I'm stronger than yesterday. Not my loneliness ain't killing me no more. What is, who is it? Britney, is it Britney Spears? Oh my God. Am I seriously spirit? <laughs> I just heard giggling. So um, when I said spirit, spirit's giving me some Britney Spears. So look, um, you're being, you're stronger than yesterday. Maybe you feel you definitely, definitely have got the strength that you need now to to walk away, to just get up and walk away. You know, to leave a tough situation, or even just like if somebody wants to argue with you, it's like bye, Felicia. Girl, bye, you know, and up and go. Male, female, it don't matter. You know, like you are strong enough. Your loneliness ain't killing you no more. It doesn't matter if this is with regards to love or not. This could be a career situation, a family situation. Look, again, we got walking away and walking away here. Look. Like you're going after what you want. You are realizing that you deserve so much more. And you're going to, you're not going to settle for less no more. Thank you, Spirit. And that collaboration here, this is like your dedication, like um, towards achieving goals. 
being rewarded, spirit rewarding you for your hard work. This is like um, also, um, this is like the three of um, pentacles. And the three of pentacles is actually also a card of um, a firm foundation and like building on, um, building on prior successes. seen a lot of, of success with um, uh, career coming up. Some of you may feel like too much time has gone by. You may, with the sands of time showing up here, it may feel like time is running out or time is of the essence in some form or fashion. <clears throat> but the psychic reader card came out. You may um, also be like uh, you guys could be like psychic readers and possibly have some sort of spiritual business um, or and or uh, uh, others of you, though, like you've been um, like watching tarot card readings or like um, and I know you're watching one now, of course, but I'm just saying that you've been watching them um, more or you watch them a lot or, you know, you've been watching them more Um to really get clarity on um, on your situation because you have been really going through a, a tough cycle. And especially like when you are going through um, a very challenging or tough si situation, like you use um, re readings to really help you in those times of struggle. It, but spirits like you already have... Um, a natural psychic ability anyway so some of you really just relying on your own intuition as well you may really just be looking for answers or have been looking for answers thank you spirit please come here guide this reading show me clearly what i need to see legacy This, I feel like, um, it, for it, this particular reading, um, this is like, <sighs> most of the time I would say that it's about like leaving a legacy, but I feel like, um, what you've been through has had a, a, an, a huge impact on you and you've really, um, it's like a, um, You've had to really endure um, a lot. And some of you may, I'm also, this is a side note, but I'm seeing someone saying that I will never treat my children the way that my parents treated me. Or I will never treat my my daughter the way that my mother treated me or i will never treat my child the way that my father treated me or something you know something to those to that effect there are people that see you as very gifted knowledgeable whether but um that want to like work with you i see sorry about that guys uh but um, but there are people that want to like uh, work with you, especially those of you who like if you've got your own business, I'm seeing that like there are people that um, that like what you have to offer that that are going to see that you're very skilled at what you do and want to like work with you, um, especially those of you who are watching me that you have your own like spiritual business. Um, or maybe you are like a, a psychic or a tarot card reader. Um, and it's like everything that you've been through in your life is um, giving you this and this. It's like increased your skill to be able to uh, connect with your clients. And they're going to see that and they're going to really want to work with you based on your knowledge and your experience. Um, they see you as very powerful and um, and that you know what you're doing. Others of you, um, this is also like 
you have this gift of knowledge to inform others. So it's like you may have spent a lot of time studying and and learning a lot or like you just got a lot to offer the world based on like your past experiences and everything that you've been through in some area of your life, whether it's just life in general or a particular subject. But I see you like really cultivating inner strength and and um, gaining success, really taking back your power, living in a place of empowerment and sharing that with the world. Like whether or not you have some huge platform or this is just people that you come in contact with. Mm. Spirit keeps playing that song over and over in my head. Um, my loneliness ain't killing me. No. Look, as soon as I split the deck, we've got the Six of Swords. Can you guys see that? The Six of Swords. I don't want my nails on there, but look. I told you, Six of Swords. And then we've got the Ace of Swords. Like you have, everything that you've been through has given you the ability of discernment. And now you are moving away from... Um, people, situations, experiences. Look, there's the five of swords and six of swords. Here you are moving past these challenges, these conflicts, right? You know, like you may even have been feeling defeated, feeling like someone else defeated you, drained you. But you could also be dealing with someone who also... Um, maybe has kind of laughed at your um your um pain laughed at every time you fell they would talk shit and laugh okay ace of swords there we have that's you having that um clear vision the ability of discernment and look strength every like here you are that lion that strength right like, here you are. Like, it reminds me of uh, those little short videos on TikTok where then they would all of a sudden have, like, the the lion with, like, the, the, like, the intense music and he's, like, slow motion walking. Like, that's you, you know, but, like, you win um, from your bra bravery. Here is your dark feminine energy coming out. You know, um, and it's like those struggles, those hardships that you you went through only made you stronger and gave you discernment, gave you the ability to see things clearly. All right, I'm going to get one more card for you guys. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascendant masters. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides, higher light beings. Please come here, guide this reading. Show me clearly what I need to see. I've had this deck for about a year and a half, guys, and I have never used it. Show me clearly what I need to see, Spirit, please. Just under a year and a half. Show me clearly what I need to see, please, Spirit. Look, femininity, assertiveness, um, group accord. This is what I feel like. This is that um, the dark feminine energy that I was picking up on. All right, we've got dog on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like you have been loyal to people to a fault. Like you have um, been so devoted and honest to people. Um, and they have even like dogged you out or took your loyalty or took your love for granted. Thank you, Spirit. Can you give me one more, one last card? I just want one last card. Because I feel like that card right there, that femininity, the assertiveness, I feel like that's there just to validate the dark feminine energy that I was picking up on. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I may look, you know, um, 
cute and and cuddly and and helpless but uh look how she's like that mama bear but don't fuck oh so oops so sorry so sorry youtube oh my gosh i'm sorry for the language guys but don't f with me because i i will blind you <laughs> you know all right and we have the uh, Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, I can never pronounce it, but this, look, this is you, powerful, also, like, um, I feel like your base chakra, um, like, you are, um, balancing out your base chakra right now, or maybe wanting to kind of balance out that base chakra, but this is also raw power, and we see, again, another picture, like, with the mama and the baby, like, I may look cute, and cuddly but don't get it twisted because i'm really a t-rex underneath i can never say ty tyrannosaurus rex i don't know if i even said it right is it tyrannosaurus rex but also i just got this some of you are dealing with a tyrant who can be sweet and loving one minute and then explosive and out like just like has these um, emotional outbursts or like the, you know, will come out the mouth with like these cruel mean words, but then act all sweet and kind one minute. But that was like a, that's very specific. And I try not to do specific readings and trying to do more general stuff for collective, but yeah. Okay. So, um, but this is what I have for you guys for right now. I am going to pick someone to get a prophecy card. So let's see where they are. Here they are. Um, I'm going to do one for collective and then a, a personal one. So uh, let me look and see. Um, okay, just give me a second, guys. Let me uh, choose someone randomly that has put a crystal ball. I'm just grabbing the other phone. Let's see if there's anyone from the last video that I uploaded. Nope, nobody in the last one. Okay, let's see the one before that. Both of them were yesterday. Okay, it is, um, Oh my God, I cannot pronounce this. I'm sorry guys, I'm just horrible with names. S-E-R-A-P-H. Seraph, Ariel. The last, um, it's two names and then the second part of the name is Ariel. Seraph, Ariel, let me see. Hold on just a second. I know it's... Uh, um. Let's see. Seraph. Seraph. Okay. Seraph. See, I feel stupid. Ser I said Seraph. Seraph. Seraph uh, Ariel. Okay. This is for coll collective. Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascendant masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings, please come here guide this reading can you give me a prophecy message for the collective of souls okay all right the first card here for you guys for the collective is the perfect partner for you to build with and navigate through life will be available to you before the end of this year and i can totally see that in the cards because we got the collaboration with the transition and the inner strength meaning like being patient letting go of this past person this past situation and experience okay because in perfect timing 
um, there's this person that's going to come in. This is not for everyone. If you're already with your partner, then this is just you and your part, your partner, um, um, still being able to like, um, build upon what you already have. Okay. But this person is going to come in and wants, wants to help navigate, um, and build with you, uh, wants to navigate through life and build with you. So I can definitely see how, see the connection there as well. Can we get one more card, please, Spirit, for the collective? And this, so those of you that are single or wanting to like, um, or in separation, there you go. Show me clearly, Spirit, that this one's calling out to me. Um, a secret has been kept from you will soon be revealed. A secret that has been kept from you will soon be revealed. So guys, but look um, on the bottom of the deck, it says an energy of conflict approaches. Try to maintain a calm, cool, and collected demeanor at this time. So look, this secret that's being revealed may require for you guys to really bite your tongue. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be like some massive, huge, like betrayal, or if it's just a secret that's just enough to kind of piss you off. But either way, um, stay, um, stay as calm as possible and um, try to maintain um, a, a gentle spirit. Um, I mean, if you get pissed off, you get pissed off, but still try to like uh, keep a, a, a level head. <clears throat> okay. Seraph, spirit, show me Seraph. I said Seraph. I said Sir Seraph. That's how I said it. Show me Ser Seraph. Can you give me a prophecy message for Seraph? Can you show me a prophecy message for Seraph? Okay. A challenging time for your mental health is ahead. Take time to pause, reflect, and conserve your energy. And like that's pretty much what we've been talking about here this whole time too. So really, um, and you may already be going through this or this is something that is, is going to take place in the near future. And so as this um, challenging time uh, happens, you know, again, we saw that delay card that um, that I was showing you guys that felt like the um, seven of pentacles. That's that energy of pausing and reflecting, really taking time to think and conserve your energy. Um, but we're going to clarify this for you, sweetie. Can you clarify this challenging time? Too many cards for Seraph. A challenging time for your mental health is ahead. Take time to pause, reflect, and conserve your energy spirit. Can you clarify this for Seraph, please? One single jumping card spirit or I pull. Let's see. Achievements. Okay, so this is um, a spirit saying that basically, you know, you will get through whatever this is. You know, you are going to come through it just fine. And and this is um, um, very much like the world um, this is actually supposed to be the Oracle card for the world card, this achievements card. So this is saying that whatever this is, it's just going to be some like a difficult cycle that you're going to go through. And to just, uh, just like it says, pause, reflect and conserve your energy um, as you move through this, but you will get through this um, um, successfully and um especially you know as you kind of um as as you kind of keep that level head especially since we've got the divine feminine on the bottom of the deck which is you know uh that motherly energy whether you're a mother or a father or whatever you are that motherly energy is very kind compassionate so being very kind and compassionate with yourself as you move through whatever that is um going on in your mind at the time so or in the very near future so this is what i have for you guys i truly hope that this resonates i truly hope that it helps and if you guys would like your own personal private reading please 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 feel free to reach out to me um and i will hook you up with your own private reading um, my email address is winter at readings by winterwolf.org. 
and that will also be in the description box. For all of you who have subscribed, liked, commented, I want to thank you so, so very much. Um, it truly means the world to me that you care enough about the messages that I receive from Spirit and that you connect with those messages that I channel from Spirit. And I um, I love you all so very much. And um, yeah, so um, thank you. And the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.